All right, one of the questions I got, our houses are 10 meters by 45 meters in length. That's total plantable space. However, that is not how much you should plant. All right, back at it again, finally not raining. It's been ridiculous getting everything together. So right now we're doing a field prep for about 5,000 plants. It's gonna end up probably being about 4,000. We're doing a little bit wider uh, spacing. So I'll just kind of take some uh, notes. One of the, uh, the big things that we're doing this time is we're giving ourselves one meter pathways versus uh, half meter pathways. And that's mainly just because when you're harvesting and doing everything, it's just a really big uh, hassle if you have tighter pathways. It works in a greenhouse because everything's kind of tight and tidy, but in a field, it's just not <laughs> fun sometimes. So what we're doing is we're marking it out. We're gonna do 15 rows, roughly 40 meters. Some are gonna be longer. Overall, I think it's gonna work out. So it's gonna be about 600 linear uh, meters in row types. And then we're gonna do drip irrigation. So we've already kind of prepped the field. We've done a couple cycles. Uh, we did uh, squash, uh, pumpkin, and sweet corn. And then now we're gonna go back into peppers. And it looks pretty good. It's turned up really nice. We're having uh, compaction issues in our other part of the field, which is gonna require uh, disking, but overall it's, it's gonna be okay for this part. So right now we're gonna go take a look at greenhouse, uh, mini greenhouse, because we're testing a new method for uh, spraying and we wanna make sure that we're not killing our stuff. Also, we should have harvest this week, which will be great uh, and see the size. So see if I can boost them one more time and see what our first average uh, tomato size will be. So it'll look pretty good, but I'm just gonna shoot some B-roll here and kind of figure out what's going on. But yeah, this is gonna be great, excited. So this is gonna be the start of our pathways. So we have row and then path, row, path, row, path, all the way down into the end. I'll go walk over there been like super muddy we're gonna chainsaw these trees out they don't really produce uh the best fruit so we're gonna lime it and we're gonna kind of dig uh irrigation canals because our rainy season will come back in about june and we're the guys already talked about it again with the one meter pathways we want to make sure that we set ourselves up for success even though it's like three months in advance considering this is only february so what we're doing right here is just basic uh, lined method so we're gonna dig a channel down the side right here and then we're gonna have bedway right there it is kind of close to our tree but we're hilling these guys up to 30 centimeters which is a foot so it's gonna be kind of big right into that and we already have our drip irrigation we're just gonna measure that out and this is kind of like a, a final test to make sure that we got everything together I don't think that we're gonna have any issues this time going into the field but I can't predict the weather and right now it's just been constantly wet constantly rainy so we're gonna try to pull out all the stops that we can to prep for a good uh, initial harvest and initial setup because if we can get them to about 100 days we can get them through 120 to hopefully 160 days and that'd be great that'd be a good uh, harvest yield but it's really up to mother nature here whether we're actually gonna be able to do it so let's go take a look and see what we got going on we had some spray issues uh, mini greenhouse and maybe others we're having some blossom drop on our sealy again i haven't done sealy or our hot peppers inside greenhouse one so i noticed that they were kind of weak on boron i told them to spray boron because that's what really helps it we we're also using a boron uh, fertilizer so it could be a lot of issues uh, going on and again when you're mixing in containers it's easy to do one or two containers but when you're doing like 800 it's very hard to make sure that each little container has its perfect mix and then able to actually execute week on week out. So we'll see, we'll see what's going on. And I got another uh, tool coming up, so I'll, I'll show that one hopefully in a week or so. All right, let's go. All right, one of the questions I got, our houses are 10 meters by 45 meters in length. That's total plantable space. However, that is not how much you should plant your space and I'll go over that too right now because somebody said in the comments I want to put 2100 plants inside my greenhouse while wow. theoretically you could you should not and here's why so if you saw me walking through there I had a lot of space so this is about a one meter row 75 centimeter row and then one meter space 
okay? Now, tomato plants are planted in row. So you start here and you go a triangle to there, to there. So this is 18 inches or 45 to 50 centimeters apart from there to there. That's in row planting and that's spaced. And then between row, you have row here to here and that's about three feet uh, space, about 90 centimeters, okay? The reason you do that and the reason why this makes sense is one, ease of harvest. So if you wanna bring a, a wheelbarrow or anything down the row, you now have the space to do it. If you do it, and we've done half meter spacing, which is what a lot of the packages do say, you will not be able to fit through there. And we've done peppers. I'll link some of that in the video of our uh, pepper trials we've done inside here, and you will be unhappy. Also, when you get to here, you'll be out into the far edge and you won't be able to work the side and won't be able to do maintenance on your crop. So I hope that uh, answers the question why we plant the way we do. We've tested it. We've done eight rows. We're now only doing one, two, three, four, five, five rows. And that's 75 centimeter by one meter pathways all around. And that's going to produce about a thousand plants. You're going to get better yield with less plants, more space. Just like any other living, breathing thing, your plants need more space. Everyone thinks, oh, I can jam a bunch of plants into my place. But if you jam them in or you have poor soil because the nutrient uptake, you will encounter more losses into this. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't push the limits in this. And I will talk about that when we go into greenhouse one. So I hope that answers the question why we plant the way we plant. Get it, get, get that spiky fruit. I feel it's like watching the kids. Get it, pull, don't break that branch. Don't you do it. See, it's not ready. Otherwise it just pop right off. Good job. 